नमस्कार दोस्तों स्वागत है आपका हमारे चेस चैनल क्लासिक चेस न्यूज में मैं हूं संदीप और आज मैं लेकर आया हूं एक ऐसा केस टिपिकल केस है जिसके करैक्टर जो हैं तीन करैक्टर हैं तीन किरदारों में पहले हैं अतन लहरी सेकंड है दिव्यन्दु बरुआ इंडिया के सेकंड ग्रैंड मास्टर अतन लहरी भी बंगाल चेस एसोसिएशन के सेक्रेटरी रहे हैं और ए के जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी भी हैं फ्री में भी रोल है थर्ड एक मेन इंपॉर्टेंट करैक्टर हैं इसमें भरत सिंह चौहान इनको सभी जानते हैं और जो भी ए से रिलेटेड होता है इवन आपका आई कार्ड जो बनता है ए का उसमें भी सिग्नेचर इन्हीं का होता है तो ये तीनों बहुत प्रोमिनेंट मेंबर हैं पहले हम बात करते हैं अतन लहरी जी का इस केस का पूरा हम बताएंगे उनकी भाषण सुन लेते हैं पहले to prove that i am a thief and a criminal so i would like patience from all of you to please listen to me and make your decision on what exactly happened and i would request all of you not to interrupt at least make your mind before listening to the other side so my contention is i'll go to the history before speaking because lots and lots of allegations have, have been made against me in the last 4 months and i have been literally having sleepless nights over nothing now first of all i would like to say that the conclusion i would like to say and then i'll go to the meat of the story and then once again i would like ask you to say what your opinion is first of all in the this accusation is against bengal chess association and one of the reasons one of their uh, reasons for complaint is that i have been running the association unilaterally single handedly without listening to anybody stealing money from government and doing all sorts of mischief without knowledge of anyone okay sir respected sir in the last 7 years i am in absolute power in bengal association with my committee and team i have been trusting each and every of the members and the result is bengal is one of the most active chess playing states in india currently we have national champions we have so many international masters coming up a whole bunch of them and these performances don't come out of vacuum it's a system an ecosystem which we have created in for example in national under 17 championship all the three positions 1 2 3 went to bengal women champion also came from bengal so it is not out of nothing if i have been doing everything bad who is doing the good this is my first question secondly uh, i would like to go to the history of this current state of accusation all of you know mr barwar is a grand master he is a respected grand master in arjun award and this arjun award and everything has been won because of his performance in chess it is not a character certificate it is not a certificate award given for speaking the truth in the last 4 months I when I was sent as a coach of our national team by All India Chess Federation to China making use of my absence there was a big conspiracy in which I blamed the secretary of AICF Mr Bharat Singh Chauhan and Mr Bharat Singh joining hands no please please don't I would like both the sides not to please have a patient hearing not to support or oppose me till you have complete Uh, knowledge of the my side of the story so when i was in china from 19th august till october uh, till 3rd of september at that time there was a conspiracy which, which was hatched by the secretary of all india chess federation in association with dipendra barua and some of his followers to usurp power against me so what happened is first mr barua straight away he went to the media i believe there are various forums to address your grievance if i have a grievance against someone in the state i can always go to all india federation if i have grievance against all india federation i can always go to the world chess federation or to the government instead of that if someone has grievance against someone straight away he goes to the media and accuses and he accused me of so many misdeeds which i challenge all of them are false fabricated and were politically motivated to defame me because uh, 2020 is the year when all india federation chess uh, aicf elections are supposed to be held there was a rumor that i might be one of the contenders for the post of secretary 
So this is the reason why everybody conspired against me and they started hitting me below the belt. The first thing which uh, my opponent said, I stole government money 35 lakhs per annum. I contest that and I say I have not stolen 35 paisa in life. I don't even take the money of tea from my office from Bengal Association. Instead, I have reasons to prove that none of the secretary has donated as much money as I have donated from whatever work I have done for chess. I have reasons to do that. I can submit papers and prove them. Currently, this matter is under court of law. There are many cases going on. One of the most important cases is a criminal case which I have filed against both Mr. Barwa and Mr. Bharat Singh for conspiring against me. And there is a police investigation including forgery of signature. Just before I came here, on 24th December, I was summoned by the police, I gave my handwriting and I am the one who is cooperating with the police. I would like to go back to what happened since the month of August. In the month of August, Mr. Barwas accused me of stealing government money. I had a project with the state department, with government, and I was the one who was using the concept of using sports and especially game of chess for development of underprivileged people in the society. So I had approached many governments in India and sir, I would like to remind you or tell, tell you that I am not only the secretary of Bengal Association, even before becoming the secretary, I was a sportsman of some repute. I was a chess player myself and I have been a coach of five national countries. I don't think there is any other Indian who has this uh, achievement. I have, I am the coach of five national countries. I am competent enough to uh, prepare syllabus for development of people, uh, the underprivileged people for uh, their development of chess. So I went to various government agencies and government of West Bengal, Tribal Development Welfare Department, they, they saw my work previously and after giving the proposal, six months later, they accepted my proposal, of course it's all in the court of law today, and I was getting a fees at the rate of 31 rupees per student per class. And I had to teach chess in tribal areas of West Bengal. I was teaching chess, even had I taught to one child, I would have to provide them lessons in tribal areas of West Bengal. Over the years, there were 1,500 tribal students whom I was teaching chess through my different coaches whom I trained and the entire money which I was getting I did not take a single penny of that instead I donated the whole amount to a company which I was supervising and that company was spending the money for development of chess so they were say, purchasing equipment sending it to the districts and so on so this work was highly appreciated throughout the world and it was a cause of jealousy for some people so, in the month of August, I was defamed, saying that I am stealing government money, 35 lakh rupees per annum, for four years. That means I have stolen 1.5 crore rupees from government exchequer, and it was televised in media all over my state, and it sent me under a state of depression. I was there in China at that time. I could not defend myself. It was such a situation, such a horrific situation, I was unable to defend myself and based on that allegation, the Honorary Secretary of All India Chess Federation goes to the media, he goes to the international media, he goes to Asian Chess Federation website and says that All India Chess Federation condemns my attitude. So, respected sir, I was criminalized without even hearing. Just imagine a Prime Minister, a Secretary of a Federation accusing Joint Secretary without even listening to him even giving him a chance to say whether you are wrong or not. He sends him abroad, uses the time of my absence, gives a press conference, follows it up with another press conference, and that was followed, sir, it's very interesting to say, some of the followers of Mr. Barwa in Bengal Association, they rebelled against me at that time, they used my absence, they called meeting in one day notice, without giving me a chance, and they expelled me, suddenly. So when I came back, there were four press conferences in four days against me. Between 27th August to 3rd of September, there were four press conferences 
against me and I was in a state of mental trauma when I came back. So this is a criminal activity which these people have launched for the sake of preserving power, maintaining power and just professional jealousy. Then after that, the other accusations, I can show you sir, it's in my mobile, that who is responsible for not allowing the 9 year old girl in the state championship. I have given detailed explanation to All India Federation and I, of course I have given it to the court of law also. So it's just by becoming a famous person, I accuse anyone of any charges and people accepting because I am a famous player. I think this is not the proper way of conducting investigation. So I will give you all the evidence that you have to listen to both sides. If I am guilty, if I am guilty, then I am ready to face charges. And if my opponent is guilty, then you have to face charges. Because you can't put the other side on the other side. If you are doing it in-house, then the other side is the But if you go to public and start accusing and defaming others, it's a very serious criminal offense. And respected sir, I would also like to say this is the foreground of this uh, forgery complaint. I'm coming to the forgery complaint later. But the worst thing which was done to a human, that is my bank statement was stolen. And it was circulated in international media. Projecting the money which I get from government is the money which I'm stealing from the government. And the criminal case which I have done is exactly based on this. Nobody has a right to steal someone else's or someone's company's bank account and say and project it in a negative light without his consent. If that were true, then all the politicians would easily, they have access to many things. They could simply uh, hijack the bank account of others and make it public. But that has never been done in our country till now. So it has been done by my opponents to defame me. Now coming to the forgery case. Initially when this complaint was made, then there was no issue of forgery. At that time the forgery issue was not raised. That was in August. Then, when it was realized that these complaints are not working, subsequently Mr. Barua wrote to the sports ministry and many against me the allegations came. Some of them were so laughable. A hasyaspad allegation that a six-year-old girl उसके इंटरनेशनल करियर मैंने बर्बाद किया छह साल की बच्ची मैं उसको पहचानता भी नहीं हूं एंड दैट गर्ल व्हेन आई वेंट थ्रू द रिकॉर्ड्स आई डिड इवन नो द नेम द गर्ल्स मदर हैड रिटन दैट आई एम स्पॉइलिंग अ इंटरनेशनल करियर देन आई फाउंड आउट द गर्ल इज दैट शी डजंट फिगर अमंग टॉप 10 गर्ल प्लेयर्स इन अंडर 7 कैटेगरी इन बंगाल शी इज नॉट इवन अ रेटेड प्लेयर आई डोंट नो व्हिच इंटरनेशनल इवेंट शी हैज एवर प्लेड एंड शी सेस दैट आई एम द वन who is spoiling her international career and it was